my dear technicians here welcome to my new video here with me is a bluetooth speaker and i want to show you how to fix the charging ic the a customer brought this to me and compared to the charging ic the, the charging uh, the charging port is not working but after my troubleshooting i discovered that the charging ic is the fault not the charging point so you can see bridging it you can see that the red light is showing can you see so it's actually uh, displayed that the charging IC is, is faulty. So I'm going to show you the easiest method to fix this because since you can't get the charging IC in the market and this is a five leg IC. So I will show you the easiest way to fix this. Now, a charging IC receives five volts from the charging point and, uh, and delivers four volts or 4.2. Okay, so this is a, is a rectifier diode. You can see my hand, and this is a Zena diode. Can you see it? This is Zena diode. All right. So you can get this from uh, charge from uh, chargers from phone mobile phone chargers, like anyone that is no longer any charger that is no longer working. You can open them up and then get those components from them. The, the, the rectifier diode and also the Zena diode. Now, the aim of these two uh, diodes that you see here is to receive the five volts and reduce the volts to four points so that your battery can charge without getting damage. Okay? This Zena diode is going to act as a voltage reducer. Let me put it in a simple terms for you to understand. It acts as a voltage reducer but it's not going to affect the current okay the amps is going to be the same but the the voltage is going to be reduced a little so that it doesn't affect uh the battery okay because some customers are fond of plugging their bluetooth speaker and then leaving it as it let it charge for a whole day as if that is uh, how the battery will last or not so so now let's get down to business now let me remove my charging ic now i'm removing the charging ic since it is no longer good i'm going to deal the way with the legs please be careful be careful when doing this since my rework station is not uh is not available for now i'm using my surround to remove it but please be careful so that you don't get in any other component damaged okay and make sure you are careful so that you don't peel it off on the panel from the PCB. Okay. So you can see how the charging IC looks like. So now I'm going to prepare the PCB now for our construction. You can see I'm trying to prepare the legs. So now in this construction, please, my dear technicians, be careful. You can see these two legs are for the light, and these other two are for the uh for the charging. That is for the uh, voltage pass. To the battery so now these two legs i'm bridging it i'm going to show you when i'm done you are going to bridge connect these two legs you can see it is five legs all together you bridge this two. i'm sure you can see that the red light is showing now can you see can you see it is showing now so now this other two like this one I'm pointing like this that is from the charging port you can see to the battery so now we are going to use our rectifier diode and then I was in a diode for the connection. Now, after I'm done, I'm going to show you, and we're going to read the voltage together because the work of a charging IC is to receive five volts and reduce it to four points before giving it to the battery so that your battery does not get, uh, get spoiled. Okay? So now, my dear technician, please, and um, please, I want to remind you of something. Don't ever use resistor in this kind of... Uh, construction because the resistor is going to reduce uh, the current which is not good it's going to reduce the current drastically because it's going to it's not going to allow your battery to charge efficiently it's going to affect the uh, the current which is the amps to affect it so don't use the resistor use diode as you can see okay because some people will feel like uh, uh, Resistor also reduces voltage. It, it affects both. So don't use it. There are there are ways where there are times where you use resistor, but not in this kind of uh construction, okay? Yeah. 
So now let's go. I'm connecting it now. You can see. You can see. I will soon be done. Please take your time. I will soon be done. Take your time. So. Please, I will soon be done. I will soon be done. So now I want to read it for you now to see. Let me plug in my charger. I'm going to read. You can see the light is showing. So now I'm going to read the voltage for you with the zener diode right from the rectifier diode for you to see. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? It's reading 4.34. All right. So make sure it is well connected. Okay. You can see. So now let's do our connection and then take our final reading before concluding. Okay. So now let's go. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and leave a like, drop your comment and share the video. Okay. Please. So now let's go. Please take your time. Don't rush. Take your time. My dear technicians, please take your time. Take your time. Okay. Take your time and do this, please. Take your time. Can you see? Make sure it is not short circuit. Okay. Make sure you don't bridge it. Make sure it is not short circuit. Okay. So now I'm done ap apply my LED to the Zener diode. So now I'm connecting. I'm connecting. I'm connecting. So you can see I'm done connecting. You can see. So now I'm bending the leg to match with the other uh, rectifier diode. Okay. The aim of this is to ensure there's a voltage drop so that it doesn't spoil our battery. So now let's connect. Let's connect. Let's connect. Soon be done. I'm letting it now. I'm soldering the two uh, diodes together now. I'll soon be done. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos like this. Okay. My dear technicians, please make sure it's not, it's not a uh, short circuit to any other connection on the PCB to avoid damages. You can see the Bluetooth antenna beneath where we are working. So make sure it's not connected. It's not short circuit to it. You can see, you can see. I'm done. So now I'm going to plug in my charger now and then take our reading from the battery from both sides. Okay. So, so now you can see it is working. Can you see that it is on now? The Bluetooth speaker is turning on now. So now let's take our reading. Let's take our reading and see that it is actually giving you four points. Can you see 4.50? Let's now read from the battery uh, terminal. The battery, can you see? 4.4, can you see? 4.46, can you see that? Let's take it again. Can you see? So you can see that it is no longer 5 volts, but it has dropped. And with this, it is, it is no longer going to destroy your battery. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye for now. I love you all.